Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki of Nikki's Homemade Crafts. Welcome back to the Mosaic Crochet Mystery Crochet Along. This is part two and you can see here this is part one and we are now going to continue on our graph. So we stopped at row eight and now we're going to go from nine through 17 and I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. You're gonna see a lot more changes happening within the rows here, but the concept is exactly the same thing as we did in part one. So if you had no issues with part one, or hopefully you had none, then this is gonna continue with the exact same path and it's going to be very easy, I promise. Once you kind of get the hang of it, you just have to count your stitches on the graph. As you can see, I prefer the graph and it makes it much easier and that way you know exactly where to do what. But remember again, quick little reminder, you're only going to crochet single crochet stitches when you don't see an X. So ignore the colors below the X's, okay? And if you see an X, you're going to do a double crochet. All single crochets are done in the back loop only and all double crochets are done in the front loop two rows down. So let's continue that. All right, so row nine, we're going to have five single crochets, then double, single, double, single, double, five single crochets, then double, single, double, single, double, and then two single crochets for that repeat. And then you're just going to do that three more times after that. So let's do that. So one single crochet, two, three, four and five. Now we have double, single, double, single, double. So let's do that. So it's three double crochets and each of them has one single crochet in between. And it's gonna look like this. Now you have five single crochets now we we'll repeat what we just did. It's exactly the same thing. So double, single, double, single, double. So that means three double crochets and each of them has one single crochet in between. And now we have two more single crochets for this repeat. So it's going to look like this. And now you're gonna repeat that three more times. Okay, it's time for the next round, which is round 10. You're going to start with four single crochets, then you do the three double crochets with two single crochets in between, seven single crochets, three double crochets with two single crochets in between, and one more single crochet here at the end, and then you repeat that entire process three more times. So let's do the first part together. So four single crochets, one, two, three, and four. Now three double crochets with one single crochet between each. So one double, single, double, single, and double. Now seven single crochets. Now again, double, single, double, single, double, and one more single. Now the repeat looks like this. You are now going to repeat that three more times. All right, we are now round 11. Round 11 has three single crochets, then double, single, double, single, double, nine single crochets, and then double, single, double, single, double. And then you repeat that three times. So let's get started. We start with three single crochets, then double, single, double, single, and one more double. That looks like this. Now nine single crochets, and then again, double, single, double, single and double. You're now going to repeat that entire sequence three more times. 
All right, we are in the next round, which is round 12. You're gonna start with a double crochet, then single, double, single, double, single, double. So there's four double crochets and three single crochets, then 11 single crochets, and then two more sets of single, double, single, double, single, okay? So now we never started with a double crochet first. So let me show you, there's two different ways and how you can get started with that. You either are going to pull it through like you always do through the back loop only, then make a chain of one and then go down to that front loop, or you're going to pull it through the front loop right underneath here and make an alternative turning chain. Either one is fine. I'm just gonna go the way we did it before. So go through the front loop, then make a chain just that you are able to get down there and go through that front loop, maybe a little tight because you ran your yarn through it. And then make your double crochet. There you go. Now the next one is a single crochet then again, a double crochet, single, double, single, double. You should now have four of them. So four double crochets and three single crochets. And now you need to do 11 single crochets. Once you're finished, you have two more sets of the double, single, double, single. So double, single, double, and single. Now the entire process starts over. So do the entire round here on this graph three more times. Once you're done, check of your round and we're now going to round 13. Before we do so, we need to do our slip stitch, but because we did a chain of one right here, make sure you're not going through that one. You're actually going through that top part of the double crochet. When you're doing your slip stitch. So simply pull it back through that double crochet and make the loop bigger just like you always do. That way we're not losing it. And now pull your other color through the back loop. Now we're ready to look at our graph. We have to do one single, double, single, double, single, double. So there's now three singles and three doubles, then 13 single crochets, and then double, single, double. So let's do that. So we start with a single crochet, a double crochet, and now three more times. So single, double, single, double. So that's three sets of those. And now 13 single crochet stitches. Once you're done, you finish it off with double, single, double. And now you repeat that entire sequence three more times. All right, it's time for round 14, which looks exactly the same way as round 12. So we start with a double, double, single, so one double here. So we start with one double, single, double, single, double, single, double, then 11 single crochets, double, single, double, single. Remember with the double crochet right here, you have two different choices. I personally do just a chain of one after I pull it through the back loop. And remember that chain of one does not count. It just helps you get down there um, and doesn't stretch it so far. And you make your double crochet right there. Then single, double, single, double, single, and double. 
So you should have four double crochets and then three single crochets, you know, back to back. And now 11 single crochets. And now finish it up with double, single, double, single. Now repeat that entire sequence three more times. All right, let's get to number 15. We have three single crochets, then double, single, double, single, double. Then we have nine single crochets and double, single, double, single, double. So let's do that. And now nine single crochets. Now double, single, double, single, and double. Now you're gonna repeat that entire sequence three more times. All right, let's do two more rounds. We start with four single crochets, double, single, double, single, double, seven single crochets, double, single, double, single, double, and single. So let's get started. So four single crochets, then double, single, double, single, and double. Now seven single crochets. And finish it off with double, single, double, single, double, single. So that should be three sets of double single. And now you are gonna repeat that sequence three more times. All right, the last round for part two, we have five single crochets, then double, single, double, single, double, five single crochets, double, single, double, single, double, single, and single. So there's two back here. So round 17 is exactly the same as round nine. So as I said, five single crochets. So three, four, and five. Now double, single, double, single, double. Then five more single crochets and double, single, double, single, double, and two more single crochets. Now you're gonna repeat that process three more times. And now you are finished with parts one and two. You can kind of see what's happening. Let's see if you can kind of guess what the image is and how to explain it. Let's see if you can figure it out. And in the meantime, also figure out what is the actual thing that we're making. Because we're not just doing some mosaic crochet and rounds here. It actually is a project in the end. And remember, there's still a part missing for part three. So you're still gonna do some crocheting in part three. And then there are some more possibilities because as I always do with all my mystery crochet alongs, there are many different ways in how you can finish it. And I will provide you with lots of possibilities. So come back for part three. Be sure to like, comment, and share this video. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the bell to get a notification next time I'm publishing a video or go live. Now go ahead and watch the next video. You're gonna want to, I promise you do.